What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be going over the best OBS recording settings and these settings will give you the best quality for your videos. Once you have OBS open, click on settings, go to output, and if the output mode is set to simple, change it to advanced. Once you do that, you'll see more settings, then go ahead and click on recording and you'll see a bunch of settings here. So for the first thing here, we have the recording path. Now, obviously you set that to wherever you want your videos to go. Next, we have the recording format. So I highly suggest you choose MPEG-4, MP4. Next, we have the video encoder. So if you have a good GPU, choose NVIDIA NVENC H.264. If you have a good CPU, choose X.264. So X.264 for CPU and NVIDIA NVENC H.264 for GPU. Now for the audio encoder, choose FFmpeg AAZ. Now for the rescale output, choose Bicubic, Sharpen Scaling. Now these down here are the most important settings. So rate control, choose CQP. CQ level, choose 18. So for the CQ level, going lower is actually better quality. Going higher will give you lower quality. And I highly suggest you choose 18 for the CQ level. Keyframe interval will be two. For the preset, I recommend you choose P6 or P7. Tuning should be high quality. Multi-pass mode will be two passes, full resolution. Profile will be high. And make sure you check cycle visual tuning. Now moving on to audio under output, make sure that track one, audio bitrate is set to 320. That way you get the best audio quality. Now for the audio, select 48 for sample rate and stereo for channels. Down here, you can select your desktop and mic audio. So for my desktop, I have my speaker selected. And for my mic, I have my Yeti Nano. So for the video tab, make sure that your base and output resolution is set to whatever your monitor's resolution is set as. In my case, it's 1920 by 1080. For the FPS, set it to 60. And make sure that this is set to common FPS values. For the advanced tab, make sure that your color format is set to MV12. Your color space to 709. And your color range to limited. If you use a capture card like I do, go to the properties. Make sure that the color range is set to limited. Color space, 709 and make sure that the video format is set to XRGB. And also make sure the console you're capturing is set to limited color range because if you don't, you will get some weird colors. Anyways, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If this did help you out, please let me know down below in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. We the plan, raccoon. Call of Duty, man, our name is Bad News. The Raccoon Clan got a plan to drag you and all of your homies to the graveyard, too. We the plan, Raccoon. In Call of Duty, man, our name is Bad News. The Raccoon Clan got a plan to drag you and all of your homies.